Hello everyone, welcome to tech2.com. In this lecture, we will start limit and we will solve various problems over limit. So, let's get started. So, what do we understand by limit? If somebody asks, what is the value of this function fx, which is x square minus 1 upon x minus 1 at point x equal to 1? So, let's put the value of 1 which will be equal to x which will be equal to 1 minus 1 upon 1 minus 1 which is 0 upon 0 right we cannot say it's 0 or infinity okay so basically this form 0 upon 0 is indeterminate form we cannot say it as equal to 0 okay now it means that value of this function doesn't exist when x equal to 1 but what do we say when somebody asks what is the value of this function fx just neighborhood point of this x for example x equal to 1 it is not defined but at x equal to 1.000 some 1 what will be the value right so now if you try to find out the value it will be somewhat equal to 2.000 something and then maybe 1, 2 like this. Okay. Similarly, if we say what is the value of this function fx at just a point which is just before x equal to 1. So 0 0.9999 like this. So it will again come out to be 1.99. Nine, nine, something like this. So these values are very close to basically 2. 2. Very close to 2. Okay. So when we say limit, it means or we want to say that okay, I know and I don't know whether at this point, at a particular point x, at a particular point x, the value of fx exists or not. I don't know. But what is the value of this around this point neighborhood of this point okay so that is the concept of limit so we have two kind of this approach first is from we go from left hand side which is LHL left hand limit okay and this is right hand limit okay we approach is in two manners so what do we do basically if somebody tells you that fx find fx when limit x tends to some a okay so when we have to find this left hand limit left hand limit what do we do we choose a point which is just before this point just left to this point okay so how do we choose this we take limit of limit of fx minus x minus uh, let's say or let's say make it a minus a minus t okay where t tends to 0 okay so what basically we are doing we are choosing a point which is just before this x so let's say this is t this difference is t so we are doing x which is x equal to here the value is a so we are doing a minus t okay minus t where t is very small okay t is very small it tends to zero so this is basically what we are doing we are approaching this point from left similarly in RHL what do we do right hand limit in right hand limit limit let's t tends to 0 where fx a plus t so if you consider what we are doing on this x equal to a we are taking a point very close to this x equal to a and this difference is this difference is t where t tends to 0 okay so as small as you can imagine so this is the concept of right hand limit right so we say limit exist we say that limit exist 
limit of a function at a particular point exists only if LHL that is left hand limit equal to right hand limit okay so and this will be equal to basically limit of the function okay so limit of the function right now I'll just discuss a small geometrical interpretation of this what I mean uh, when I say limit and all so for example let's say this is a function let's say uh, a function like this at x equal to a what is happening the function comes like this 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 okay so bas basically here at x equal to a the function doesn't e exist okay the value doesn't exist but at the neighborhood points they have some values okay and if you try to calculate this LHL will come out to be equal to RHL and here we will say this is the limit but at the other hand if a function has something like x equal to a so this is the curve like function comes here here the value doesn't exist and it, st it starts from here okay like this so in this case you cannot find out you will when you find LHL it will come out to be a value nearby here right but if you find RHL uh, it will come out to be this so LHL will not be equal to RHL right right hand limit and hence we will say that the limit of this function doesn't exist right so in this uh, lecture we have got the overview of limit and next next lecture we will uh, uh, go through various results and the formulas which is quite useful to solve limit and then finally we will solve problems over it so I hope this is clear if you have any doubt please go to the doubt section and ask your question and uh, please don't forget to rate the videos uh, over tiktok.com after watching because it will help other users the person who will watch next to you to decide whether uh, from the multiple videos which video is better in this manner we can control quality over our community and this will be also considered as your contribution so I hope this is clear no thanks for watching